Hi Libra. Welcome to your January reading. It is the morning after the Cancer full moon. Whew. I hope you guys had a great full moon. It has been interesting to say the least. The ocean decided it was going to have a little party at home. And we were all there to witness the truth that pours out when the salt water pours in. The most important thing for you for the next three weeks is that Venus is in Aquarius. Now, as a fellow air sign, what that means for you is that it's a really sweet romantic time. A time where Sure, you see which cups aren't full, but in the next moment, there's someone there to fill them. Or you figure out some really powerful, productive, nurturing way to fill the cup yourself. But there is a sense of romance. So it's, yes, you're doing things for yourself. Yes, self-care. But... A strong sense of somebody in your life, new or established, doesn't matter, who's giving you this sort of sweet, charming back and forth, someone who you're bouncing this energy off of. Venus is, a, is an Aquarius, and you can convince people about just about anything, but all you really want is some sunshine and some affection and some love and i think you could use a boost when it comes to your self-esteem there's there's hi i'm back okay so i think you could use a little boost to the self-esteem mars is going to go direct on the 18th and you may find that just being able to find common ground with people, regardless of if it's in a romantic way or not, it soothes you. It makes you feel a little more grounded. It makes you feel like things aren't quite so chaotic. But that common ground or that feeling in some way reintegrated or accepted with the people around you who you may have felt alienated from or it may have felt like they were shunning you, that process doesn't translate into something romantic until I would say July. Um, but there's also something to be said for want, needing to focus on other things until the summer, right? So it's a January reading, but it is also a look at 2023. That blow to your ego, whether it's self-inflicted or not, I think the worst part about it is that it feels very public to you. It feels... The, the sting of it isn't even what's happened or how you feel it's the embarrassment aspect so whatever's made you feel confused and outside the fold it's not even the feeling itself and how it's affected your self-esteem so much but how public it's been that's really hurtful and i think that on many levels the breaking of the facade whether that's the facade of the perfect family or the perfect job or just that libra facade you know that you guys are good at you need it you're good at it it's very necessary it's very useful so no shade <clears throat> excuse me but it also is a really interesting exercise in patience now to 
break down the facade and not want the facade and what happens underneath that. What kind of common ground do you reach with people when most of your existence internally and externally is curated for other people? It's hard to have a personality of your own when you are hyper intuitive, can sense what people are like, can get right there with them, mirror them so as to ingratiate yourself with them. And they're none the wiser. They have no idea any of that is happening. They just feel like you're charming and they're relieved that you like them. So when that's the MO, when that's when how Libra moves, what does finding common ground with people even mean? Because as a Gemini, of course I can relate and the question is the same. What's common ground if you can understand every aspect of things? To you, that's, you know what I mean? That's whatever you want it to be that day, whatever suits you. And so that inadvertently ends up being a lot more manipulative than we want to be. It's just a symptom, I guess, of being very smart. So when I say that Mars goes direct and you find common ground with people, that's a pretty big thing. Because what it means is on some level, this past year that we've just come out of, you had to sift through all the ways in which you're very charming and very capable of mirroring and intuiting, having that, uh, being able to intuit what's going on with someone enough to give it back to them in a way that gets you what you want. You've done all that. And I think you reached the point where something happened and it made you realize that even though you're so good at doing that and even though you did it the best that it can be done, it's still not true. It's not reality. It's not compelling in the way that someone who's way less agreeable would be just simply because they're not curating the experience. And so in a very real way, and this makes sense because your life does follow the aesthetic of the time. As the aesthetic of our time changes, the things we value and the way we value them are also changing. And so you find this happening within yourself. Your aesthetic is changing. Yes, there has been a time, yes, a long time in which you've operated as the person who can enmesh themselves with pretty much anyone. Now as the aesthetic changes from something very formulaic, very homogenous, everyone kind of looks the same. Now as that changes and morphs and becomes this more interesting landscape where people with more interesting faces and more interesting style are br being brought into the fold, what you see happening internally with Libra mirrors that, which is so fascinating, right? So unlike Libra of even a month ago, who can get on your wavelength. This is a Libra who's forced somehow, disillusioned because of something, to the point where they realize that this enmeshing with other people and the adulation that comes from it was worth nothing. Because just as quickly that adoration can turn to hate. <clears throat> it's fickle. It's based on attention. It's based on being able to sway the crowd. It's based on being able to play with the emotions, right? That's, that is fickle. That will change at the drop of a dime because that's just manipulation. If, if you can manipulate people, then other people can too. Now, the difference, the quest that you've been on all last year and now it's continuing here in January. It's all about identity. It's about you not doing that. Something opens your eyes and you're like, wow, I've been doing this for everyone around me all this time and what did I get for it? Nothing. 
now I'm just going to think what I think. Now I'm just going to say what I want to say. And I'm not going to take the time to make it sound like something that you might like. And I'm not going to take the time to make it sound like something that doesn't, isn't an affront to your delicate sensibilities. I'm not going to be as, so considerate as to disappear into your opinion because that's the easiest way to make you happy and keep the peace. No, I'm just going to say what I think and some of it might be wrong and some of it might be right but what it will do is it will start to attract people to you again and perhaps in a way that you've always wished they would be but they weren't and that you can directly correlate with you showing more of yourself it's very hard to love someone no matter how nice they look no matter how sweet they are no matter how personable they are it's very hard to love someone if you don't know who they are if they never let you see who they really are you can be obsessed with an image you can be obsessed with a face you can be obsessed with a body you can be obsessed with somebody's job and title and status but those are not things that will not only hold, but also nurture and grow your love for someone. Those are static things that can be bought and sold and traded. That's not real. Right? You're realizing that underneath all of that, which is very important to you but also you see the value in it you see the merit in it underneath all of that there is an undercurrent of a different world <clears throat> and in that world of course the things that you think are important are still important but there is an added element there is an awareness right so you're letting people see you and it takes a while when you let people see you for them to get comfortable with it for them to not be completely shocked by it but then for them to get comfortable with it for them to get to observe you a little bit and get to be around you of course Whatever you show them, Libra, they're going to love it. But it's just the act of showing yourself that is so shocking to the people around you that I think it takes them like a month to adjust. Now, it's very possible that something embarrassing from your past, something that you don't really want to talk about, something that you really, really want to forget about, could come back some secret that you feel you know you just feel like it's reprehensible you don't want to be associated with it but just remember that even you know the most tiresome and terrifying of expositions about a person and you know this kind of reveal about a person can have positive outcomes and benefits depending on how you work it and how you spin it so don't get too stuck on whatever embarrassing thing may find its way to you okay just be responsible about it whatever it is that comes up whatever it is that you know just take responsibility say yeah that was me sorry i'm leaving okay there's also a chance here, Libra, for a very interesting end to a feud. Ooh, a feud with a Gemini. It's very possible after the 18th for you to make peace. Someone that you never thought that you would be friends with could end up being someone that you learn a lot from. And what's going to get you there? Well, after the 18th, you're thinking about money. And you realize that you need some advice from 
this person who for some reason is on the other end from you, but they don't have to be. There's no beef. It's just not something, but now it does. Now it works. So that rivalry doesn't need to exist. And there is a healing of that rivalry, which is so good for you. It's so positive. You need that. You need people who love you and are really going to be your friend. And anyone who used to hate you and now is your friend really, really loves you. So, you know, because they know the worst of you and they're still ready to put up with you. So after the 18th, you're thinking in terms of finances, but not the way other people are. You're not thinking of like how to make a buck. You're thinking about who do I know? What do they know? What does that person know? And who do they know? Okay. You, I think, mainly are thinking this way because you're highly creative right now. Um, I think that you push through whatever self-doubt you had. You know, you may have felt small, but you kept going and the opportunities kept presenting themselves. And it was like, yes, this is what I'm supposed to, you know, that it has that feel of like, yes, everything's falling into place because this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's such a beautiful place to let your creativity flow from because you're going to do some of your best work but more than that you will feel fulfilled sag is that sign right sag is the one that needs outside stuff to fulfill them they have the ideas and the concepts like do you do and they understand them but they need this outside thing to make their creativity go you don't need that you can use your creativity, your letting go, your finding your flow as a way of not just pausing your self-doubt, but eradicating your self-doubt. Start small, you know, let's talk about it more in the extended, but I'll give you a little bit of it here. Start small. If you aren't creative or you've never been creative or you're afraid of being creative or you don't even know what the word means, you know, don't do anything big. Don't go overboard don't start telling people anything just start small you know you got a pen and a paper sketch something write something dream something up tell a story sing a song find that flow and when you find it like i said unlike sagittarians when you find it you don't need to bounce it off everybody people always get that wrong about you you're a people person you're a people person like you need people I really don't think Libra needs people. I think people need Libras. <laughs> and then get so mad about it that they want to like reverse hate on them for it. It's weird. It's weird because I don't see Libras going out of their way being like, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. I see a lot of people asking Libras for help. Let's talk about more of that in the extended as well as the creativity. How do you find the flow? What exactly is the flow? Let's talk about the permanent. Um, let's talk about the primary la uh, lack of total control that happens with creativity. Let's talk about that and how that applies not only to January, as you can see here, it applies to the whole year. You know, but your priorities, if I could just talk to you for a second before I go, your priorities are starting to fall into line and 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 reflect what they should be and how you should be. And I'm sure it was not easy. And I'm sure that you're, you know, trying your very hardest to stay on this path. And I think that this really illustrates how well you're doing. It's very inspiring. Very inspiring. Good. I will see you on Patreon for the extended or on Vimeo for the extended. Well, you'll just have like a Libra 2023 page and all your extendeds for the year will be on there. Okay. Love you. I'll see you in the extended right now.